What up, Mewtube? My name is Cherise. Welcome to Reese TV. Glad that you're here. Legends of Tomorrow, a story about a group of heroes and villains who are brought together by Rip Hunter to go back in time and defeat Vandal Savage, an immortal tyrant that is bent on taking over the world. From Rip Hunter's background to terrible CGI, this looks like America's version of Doctor Who. I know that there must be a Doctor Who meme out there somewhere saying how cute. I couldn't help watching this show without my how it should have ended mind. While Rip Hunter is steadily wondering where is Vandal Savage, here he has a perfect map of where Vandal Savage is in Hawkman, why not just ask him, hey, when was the last time that you were killed by Vandal Savage? Or why not go back in time to when Team Arrow and Team Flash almost killed Savage? But then we probably wouldn't have a show. And with that being said, I've watched both Arrow and Flash and I still have no idea what's going on in the beginning. There were so many disconnects of the plot that we know from both Flash and Arrow and even in the plot in this story, also in the dialogue. So if you're coming in brand spanking new, don't feel bad if you have no idea what's going on. We don't either. Now I'm gonna review this episode just like I did the Shannara Chronicles with my top five moments. So if you haven't seen the episode, please be careful of spoilers. My OMG moment number five, Oliver Queen's personality is altered for this storyline. This has been the going complaint with the Flash Arrow crossovers and one that has been addressed and made fun of in the last Flash Arrow crossover. In the Arrow, he is more dark. In the Flash, he is more goofy. And in this, he's just disconnected. After the Atom is kidnapped, Oliver doesn't go out and search for him, which he normally would have done if he were in the Arrow or even in the Flash. Even when they meet again, there is no dialogue referring to the events before. My number four OMG moment, Vandal Savage kills children. Hide your children, hide your wife. Because he's killing everybody in this world. <laughs> we find out later that this was Rip Hunter's son. And this scene felt so similar to the Kylo Ren and the Stormtrooper scene in The Force Awakens where they massacre an entire village. This scene was very important because it sets the tone of who Vandal Savage is as well as for the whole show. My top three OMG moment, Hawk Girl accepts her past life. At the beginning of this episode, we see that she still hasn't fully accepted who she is and that she still hasn't fully awakened. Well, at least not as much as Hawkman. It is not until her son is mortally wounded that she comes to accept her past lives. However, because she hides her wedding ring, I don't think that she's ready to accept her romance with Hawkman. Well, at least not in this life. Which brings me to my number two OMG moment. Hawk Girl and Hawkman have a child in their past life. As my brother always said, if you practice enough, you're going to score. It makes me wonder how many children do they have riddled throughout time? And my number one OMG moment. The Legends of Tomorrow are expendable. From the beginning, I knew that Rip Hunter was lying about being sent back in time in order to save the world. But I never would have guessed that he picked everyone based on how little they affect time. And that's it for my OMG moments. You know, my last thoughts about this is that I know that pilots are usually shaky but I'm still disappointed by this one. Most of these characters are already developed in either the Flash or the Arrow, yet the show developers still attempted to show us character development explaining who they were or where they were when they got MIB'd, which I wouldn't mind if they didn't have acid. Honestly, why couldn't you just take us back to where we last saw them and just add Rip Hunter at the end? I don't know, what did you think? Leave it in the comments below. Please like and share this video. I make a video every week, so please subscribe so I can see you next time.
Bye-bye.